Hello, this is Ron Clark. You are listening to Lesson 2 in the Magic of yod heh vav adonai Lesson 1 concerned the proper pronunciation, tonality, and rhythm. Now we will focus upon how to speak the canticle. This is a different matter than how to pronounce it. The Magic of yod heh vav adonai employs a form of magical utterance. There are three levels to this manner of speaking. First is mental speech second is astral speech, and third is physical speech. Mental speech is inaudible or silent. Here you speak it only with your mind, no breath and no vocalization. When you speak the canticle mentally, you must also hold the canticle's meaning in your mind. This is not just about hearing the words in your mind, it's also meant to be a matter of simultaneously thinking its meaning. In other words, it's important that you bring your understanding of the canticle's words into your mental utterance. Let's try this now. As I speak the canticle aloud, you should do so only in your mind, but make what's in your mind sound mentally like my utterance. Ani yod heh Adonai Ribbon of Shellam Amen. And again, Ani Yod Vave Adonai. Ribbon of Shellalam Amen. And a final time. Ani Yod Vave Adonai. Ribbon of Shellalam. Amen. Very well. The second form of magical speech is astral. Astral speech involves combining the silent mental speech with breath. In fact, it's astramental speech, not mere whispering as some maintain. With astramental speech, there is to be absolutely no vibration of the vocal cords. Here is what it sounds like with breath and mind alone. Now try saying it astramentally along with me. Let's do that one more time, but this time be sure you're saying it mentally as well as with your breath. Now let me add a new factor into the mix with the astramental speech. Breath, in Kabbalah, has a special meaning beyond just the atmosphere that you inhale and exhale. Its deeper meaning is the breath of life, the ruach. In magical speech, breath refers to emotion, the astral substance that binds mind and physical matter together. So when using your breath for magical speech, you are combining your emotional sense of the canticle with your mental understanding of it. You are combining your inner passion with your rational understanding and expressing them in unison. So let's try it one more time in astramental mode, this time focusing on your mental understanding of the canticle, adding in your emotional passion, and expressing both with your physical breath.
This brings us to the third form of magical speech, the physical. Here is where the canticle is made physically manifest through simultaneous vibration of the vocal cords. But here again, it's not just a matter of mundane speech. This is physical astramental speech, the combining of mental understanding, emotional passion, and physical vibration. All three must occur simultaneously. Your understanding and your emotional passion must manifest and be audible as your breath passes over your vocal cords and sets them vibrating. The theory here is that all things vibrate, and when one vibrating thing intersects with another vibrating thing, they each change their vibration accordingly. When you say the canticle with the physical astramental speech, you are projecting the specific astramental vibration of the canticle outward or inward and physically impregnating the universe with it. This is what causes the universe to change in response to your speech. To be truly effective, you must totally commit yourself to speaking the canticle. Put every bit of yourself into it. Let it flow through you of its own accord. In other words, don't be shy. So let's try the physical astramental speech, but let's build up to it. We will begin with the silent mental speech. I will speak the canticle aloud, but you should speak it only with your mind and understanding along with me. Ani yod he vav he Adonai Ribbon of Shell Amen. Now let's add the factor of emotional passion and express it astramentally. Ani Yare Vabe Hatanai Ribbon And now let's give our vocal cords a good flexing and say it with our whole being, including every cell of our physical bodies. Ani Yod He Vav He Adonai Ribbon no Shellolam Amen. And again. Ani Yod He Vav He Adonai Ribbon no Shellolam. Amen. And again. Ani Yod He Vav He Adonai Ribbon no Shellolam. Amen. Very well. This ends Lesson 2. I suggest that you practice these three modes of magical speech until they become second nature. Only then should you move on to Lesson 3 and begin learning the energetics that accompany the canticle. This has been Ron Clark. My best to you.